I want to show you a trick. What if you had to estimate a root? What do you mean by estimate the root? Square root it without using a calculator and figure it out on your own. Well, okay, I can do that. How? I'm going to use the perfect squares. What? What are you talking about? Watch this. Remember the perfect squares. One square is one. Two squared, four. Three squared, nine. Four squared, 16. Five squared, 25. Six squared, 36. Seven squared, 49. Eight squared, 64. Nine squared, 81. And 10 squared is 100. I'm going to show you how to use that list of perfect squares to actually approximate the value of radicals like that. Huh? How do I do it? Simple. C root 20, go over to your perfect squared list. Find out where root 20 would approximately be. Well, looking at this list, it looks like root 20 would probably be between 16 and 25. So in other words, root 20 is between the perfect squares of 16 and 25. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, 16 I know is 4. 25 I know is 5. That means the square root of 20 has to be somewhere between 4 and 5. But where? Look, 20, if you think about it, is right smack in the middle. It's right smack in the middle. So I'm going to actually say with a lot of confidence that this answer is 4.5. And I know what you're saying. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Well, let's pull up the calculator. Here's my calculator. Let's go. Second square root, 20. Bang. 4.47. Oh, my goodness. I was right on. 4.47 is, in fact, very close to 4.5. Ta-da! Let's watch again. Same kind of idea. Square root of 45. Well, where would the square root of 45 be? Well, look, it looks like it's going to be between 36 and 49. So I'm going to put down square root of 36. There's my perfect square. There's my other perfect square of 49. I know that this is going to be right smack in the middle of it. All right? Square root of 36, simple, 6. Square root of 49, 7. So my answer's got to be between 6 and 7. But I'm noticing this 45 looks like it's a little bit closer to 49 than it is 36. Okay? It looks like it's 9 away from 36 and it's 4 away from 49. So I know that it's going to be a little bit closer to 49. So I'm going to say that this guy is, in fact, somewhere around 6.7. I'm just going to guesstimate and say it's around 6.7. Let's go on the calculator and let's actually figure it out. Okay, second square root of 45. Bang! Oh, look at that! 6.7. How more accurate can that get? Oh my goodness. Let's see if my luck can continue for this last question. Ooh, goody, goody. Look at this one. Square root of 87. Oh, my goodness. It looks like it's somewhere between the square root of 81 and the square root of 100. Nice. Okay. Square root of 81 we know is 9. Square root of 100 is 10. I'm going to say it's 9 point something. But again, look at this. Look how this 87 is closer to 81 than it is to 100. So I'm going to say it's not smack in the middle. It's, I'm not going to say 9.5. I'm going to say a little bit less than 9.5. I'm going to guesstimate it to be about about 9.3. Let's try 9.3. Let's see what happens. Bring up the calculator. Square root of 87. And let's see. Whoop! Look at that. 9.3. Oh, my goodness. I have incredible luck today, I tell you. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now, I'm not saying that you have to do it this way. But I am giving you an option of rather carrying a calculator or whipping out your phone and going out and Googling this. Why don't you just use your brain and use the idea of the perfect squares like this to help you estimate the roots? What a cool way of doing some problems.